Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited today um, for a number of reasons. The first one being that in less than a week, you guys want me up to 100 subscribers. I literally don't know what to do with myself, but literally, hold on. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. And I need you to do that again this week. And one lucky winner will be getting a chance to win the Kiki Hair Care Sleek Wax. Literally, it solves all your wig palavers. Helps you straighten out um, your hair. It also helps you sort out all those flyaways at the top of the hair. So as a wear wig, you know what I mean. It always actually works in natural hair too. So one lucky winner will be getting an opportunity to win this. And all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment on this video. Okay, we're going to go straight into the video where I will be doing the makeup on MS Hair London, my favourite wig maker in London. Okay, so we're prepping the face with a Becca Mattifying Primer after moisturising. Yes, yes, yes. And now I'm literally just setting her brows in her under eye because those are her oily regions with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. And now we're going to go in with the brows. So just draw the outline and the tail. And we're filling it in. Okay, and we're doing the second one. And yes, I'm not wearing my wig. <laughs> filling it out. Trying to get them to look like sisters. Yes. Okay. I think we're almost done. Now we're using the NYX um, concealers to tidy up underneath the brows. I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> yes, that looks nice. Neat. <laughs> and we're doing the second eye as well. So I generally do both at the same time. I don't um, do one eye completely and then start on the next. I generally try and work with them together. And then we're going to sponge it. Sponge, sponge, sponge. Cover the entire eyelid. Doing the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to set it with um, a palette, a powder palette that I got from Nigeria that I absolutely love. I think I use this more than my MAC mineralizing powders and my MAC Studio fixes at the moment. I mix them together most of the time, to be fair. Okay, and now we're going in with uh, the James Charles palette. I'm going for purple. I think I'm feeling purple today. And as I said, I work on both eyes at the same time. So as I put one color on one side, I do it on the other side too. Let's tap, tap, tap. Blend, blend, blend. And we're on to another shade. <laughs> I was clearly feeling very purple that day. And another shade. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, with the P. Louise um, eyeshadow base, we're cutting her crease so we can add some shimmery pigments to it. And this is going to make the color pop. Yay, and we're working it in. Replicating on the other lid as well, as I said. It's a whiny kind of color. And then we kind of like transit it into gold. Oh, yes, I am using the same brush. Okay, it was feeling lazy to change it. <laughs> but it all still worked out. And then we're 
using like a champagne in the in a corner I'm blending that into the other color blend 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 again make sure they all rhyme yes eyeliner on and now onto the lashes we're using GG lashes by Mrs. Skinny yes this is called Lizzie this particular lash that we use today underneath the eye let's get that nice and smoky Look down, yes. <laughs> okay, so now we're just using the same um, NYX concealer to cover any other dark spots. And now we're gonna sponge, sponge, sponge. So we're just dabbing it so it doesn't move when we do add the foundation to it. So those spots are covered. She's kind of feeling herself and we haven't even got that yet. <laughs> So now we're using foundation. I used the NARS um, foundation in this one. And all the products I'm actually gonna list in the description bar below. And what I did was I actually used the foundation to tidy up the top of the brows as well. Um, and that obviously means that it blends even more fluidly with the makeup. Still blending, still blending. <laughs> Blend, blend, blend underneath the eyes. Don't forget the chin area. Yes, get all those bits. Okay, now we have a nice even tone. We just put it down to her neck just a tad bit. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Okay, now we've used the NYX again. Concealer underneath her eyes to brighten it up and highlight it and her nose and her forehead and her chin blend 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 okay so I'm also using a black opal and I believe this is in coral to do the contouring um, before I forget, I'm adding the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder underneath her eyes to set underneath her eyes. And then we work. Blend, blend, blend. So blend the contouring. And also blend in the powder. In. I don't like baking for too long because it, then it could end up being quite cakey. So all the areas that we added the powder to, we're blending, and now we're blending it, the contour into that as well. And now we're gonna make that nose look snatched. Yes. Side profile and all. <laughs> Again, blend, blend, blend. We don't want harsh lines onto the lips. Using colored rain, you know what? I wanted it to have a lighter effect, so I'm using my makeup forever palette for that one. Yeah, and she's feeling herself definitely. And we're looking down, looking back up. Ah, she gave us a smile. <laughs> And Miss Hair London literally killed it and we just finished it off with um, the aloe vera spray and then she just threw on the wig just to just show you guys how it's done. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Catch you next week. Bye guys.